Hello, and welcome to the This Happened Today in History podcast for February 20th. I am your host, Mr. Miller. This podcast will cover a number of topics that happened on this date in history. Please visit the podcast webpage at thishappentoday.buzzsprout.com to download the notes page. This will help you organize the information as well as develop your own ideas on how these events have changed the world around us. If you're interested in hearing more, please consider subscribing so you will not miss out on what happened tomorrow in history. In 1931, President Hoover signed a bill that authorized the state of California to build the San Francisco Bay Bridge across the San Francisco Bay. After more than 50 years, designs and sketches were developed in the early 1920s. It had been deemed an engineering and economical problem and one that could not be solved without the use of Yerba Buena Island in the middle of the bay. This would allow the bridge to be completed with fewer materials, however, since the island was a U.S. naval base, it would require a congressional approval. The state received the approval and photos were taken to determine the best approach. The bridge was opened to the public with a final price tag of $77 million in 1936. That is equivalent to almost $1.5 billion today. The bridge sustained damage in the 1989 earthquake, but was repaired and is still carrying thousands of people from San Francisco to Oakland each day. In 1965, the Ranger 8 spacecraft crashed into the moon after sending back approximately 7,000 pictures of the lunar surface. It was the eighth lunar probe in the Ranger series to be sent to the moon for the purpose of taking photos and acquiring other data. It crashed around 15 miles short of its target in the Sea of Tranquility. The crash into the lunar surface was planned as this also allowed scientists to study how objects react when impacting the surface. The probe was traveling at roughly 6,000 miles per hour upon impact. The photographs it was able to send back were pivotal in helping NASA scientists understand what kind of terrain they would need to prepare for, and this opened the doors for further lunar exploration. In 1986, it was announced that a tunnel would be built by France and Britain. This was a project that had originally been planned back in the early 1800s. Napoleon was the one who had drawn up the original blueprints for the project. Finally, in 1994, this project was completed. It took 13,000 workers and around 4.65 billion euro. That would be the equivalent of around 12 billion euro or 13 billion US dollars in today's money. Since 1994, the Channel Tunnel, or Chunnel, has been used for passing of trains, cars, and buses, which cross under the English Channel in less than a half hour. The Chunnel is 31.5 miles long, and at its deepest, it is almost 250 feet below sea level. The Chunnel is actually a series of three tunnels, a northbound tunnel from France to England, a southbound tunnel from England to France, and a third service tunnel. You have been listening to the This Happened Today in History podcast for February 20th. I thank you for listening and I hope that you have enjoyed learning about the historical events from the past. Thank you to the following websites for their information regarding today's topics. ThePeopleHistory.com Ranger 8 Spacecraft Wikipedia Channel information on Eurostar.com the music used as the background track for this podcast is Americana created by Kevin McLeod on Incompetech.com. If you enjoyed this information and would like to hear more, please consider subscribing as this will keep the historical events in your feed in the morning for each day. I hope you have a great day.